For centuries, man has dreamed of traveling through time. If this ability was harnessed, we could see amazing sights that have yet to pass, or travel backwards and witness historical events that we have only ever been able to read about. Think of all the mysteries we could solve, or the regrets we could undo. Hello, I'm Andrew Boyd, and though if I could travel back in time, I would try and prevent myself from entering the mysterious glowing door that led to me being trapped in this liminal void where time is as meaningless as hope. I will instead have to settle for telling you about the top five real government tapes that prove time travel is real. Number five, UFO footage. When we talk about unidentified flight flying objects, we tend to think about aliens from distant planets showing up in flying saucers to abduct and probe unsuspecting humans. But what if these visitors from another planet are not interstellar travelers, but simply our descendants using advanced technology from the future to visit the past which is of course are present. Such is the theory put forward by Dr. Michael P. Masters in his book Identified Flying Objects, a multidisciplinary scientific approach to the UFO phenomenon. Masters believes that these travelers are using their craft to not only experience, but study the past, and that people who were abducted by aliens are actually being studied by anthropologists. As he himself puts it, the alleged abduction accounts are mostly scientific in nature. It's probably future anthropologists, historians, linguists that are coming back to get information in a way that we currently can't without access to that technology. That said, I do think that some component of it is also tourism. Undoubtedly, in the future there are those that will pay a lot of money to have the opportunity to go back and observe their favorite period in history. Some of the most popular tourist sites are the Pyramids of Giza and Machu Picchu in Peru, and old prehistoric sites. There's certainly still missing pieces of the puzzle, he said. There are aspects of time that we don't yet understand. Wanted is a theory of quantum gravity, and we can meld general relativity and quantum mechanics. I'm just trying to put forth the best model I can based on the current scientific knowledge. Hopefully, over time, we can continue to build on this. Of course, one could argue that the idea of UFOs being time travelers is a more complicated and less likely theory than aliens, but Masters believes the opposite is true, saying, we know we're here, we know humans exist, we know that, and we've had a long evolutionary history on this planet, and we know our technology is going to be more advanced in the future. I think the simplest explanation, innately, is that it is us. I'm just trying to offer what is likely the most parsimonious explanation. If Masters is correct in his theory, and extraterrestrials are really extratempestrials, as he has dubbed them, then all the footage of unidentified flying objects that has been discovered, including both the amateur tapes and the ones that were released to the public officially by the Pentagon a few years ago, are actually footage of time travel in action. This could explain how so many UFOs appear to be moving at speeds that are impossible for current craft to achieve, and how they seem to appear and disappear in what seems like an instant. Number 4. The James Webb Telescope Our next entry is a bit more literal and less grand than the others on this list, but it is still worth mentioning. The James Webb Telescope may not be able to transport us back in time, but what it can do is let us look into the distant past perhaps to show us where we came from as a species at the moment of creation. The James Webb Space Telescope was first launched in late December 2021. It was a collaborative project between NASA, the European Space Agency, and the Canadian Space Agency. It uses infrared astronomy to view things in the vast cosmos of space that would be impossible for even the Hubble Space Telescope to see. With its first release image being touted as the deepest photo of the universe ever taken. But what does this have to do with time travel? Well, as NASA scientists explained it, telescopes can be time machines. Machines. Looking out in space is like looking back in time. It sounds magical, but it's actually very simple. Light needs time to travel across the vast distances of space to reach us. So, light moves at a speed of about 1 billion kilometers per hour. So the time it takes the light from a light bulb to reach your eyes is pretty much imperceptible. But, light that is reaching you from millions or billions of kilometers away 
such as the light of a star, can be centuries, millennia, or even eons old by the time we see it. So the James Webb Telescope isn't just the telescope that can view the furthest into the universe. It is also the telescope that can see the furthest back in time, showing images of galaxies of stars as they appeared 13.5 billion years ago. Scientists hope that they will be able to use the telescope to look even further back in time in order to see the first few hundred million years of the universe after the Big Bang, so that we can observe the forces that resulted in the birth of our little blue planet in action. Number 3. Time Travel at Area 51 Next up we have a Reddit post from an anonymous user who claims to be a former employee of the infamous Area 51 who stumbled upon footage that proves the existence of time travel. This post should of course be taken with a massive grain of salt, but the mechanics of time travel it talks about are worth discussing so I have included it on this list. As the user themselves put it, I worked for years at Area 51, being brought in on Janet Airlines and getting paid through companies I had never worked for, just like many other employees have. In my time there, my main job was sorting and archiving the footage and notes of various projects that they were researching or working on. I would see notes and tapes of the various experimental aircraft we were developing, hours of grainy UFO footage, and anything else you can imagine from such a secretive branch of the government. However, one of the strangest things to cross my desk was not about aliens, but about the government's attempts to harness the power of time travel. The transcripts, and presumably the accompanying recordings they were based off of, were labeled as Project Throwback, and they talked about how in the late 90s, the government had created a machine based off of alien technology recovered from various UFO crashes over the years that they believed might be able to send people back in time. They had created the machine and wanted to begin testing it, thinking that the ability to change history in a way that aligned with American interests could be an amazing win for our country. The disasters and attacks that could be prevented alone made it worth the time and money that would be required to create such a tool. After years of working on it, it was finally time to test it. The goal of the test was to send a man back in time a day in the past as proof of concept. In order to avoid any potential paradoxes that they didn't know the potential consequences of, they had a site designated for the test pilot from the future to go to and return from without crossing paths with his past self or the scientists who were working on the project so that they wouldn't know the results of the experiment outside of its proper chronology. The machine seemed to work at first, disappearing with the pilot as expected. However, the craft never returned. And no evidence of him in the designated site was found. The scientists involved theorized in their reports that the pilot may have been killed in his time travel attempt, or may have created a branch reality where the experiment was a success. But there is no way to know where he went for sure, or if we can ever bring him back. Now, obviously the veracity of this Reddit post is dubious at best, but the idea of time travel creating alternate timelines where the changes take hold as opposed to the more commonly used in pop culture version of time travel, where one timeline is being changed and affected is interesting. Does this story of an Area 51 employee coming across a tape proving that the government is experimenting with temporal travel have any element of truth to it? And if it does, what happened to the pilot of the machine? Where and when did he end up? There is no way to know for sure. Number 2. Time Traveling Priests of the Vatican The Vatican City is a sacerdotal monarchial state that is ruled by the Pope, making it a city-state. The Vatican is extremely secretive and is the source of thousands of conspiracy theories that range from highly improbable to basically confirmed. Somewhere on that spectrum, you will find the tale of the Vatican's device for looking through time that is known simply as the chronovisor. The theory came to light in 1972 when an Italian newspaper published a story claiming that a monk slash scientist by the name of Marcello Pellegrion Ernetti had led a team of scientists including Erno Fermi and Werner von Braun to use the principle that energy is neither created nor destroyed, it only transforms, in order to create a machine that would allow them to see and hear through time in order to witness sounds and images of important historical events. Some media claims that Ernetti was able to use this machine to capture footage of Jesus on his way to his crucifixion, to view and transcribe lost ancient Greek plays, and witness speeches made by historical figures such as Napoleon. Apparently the machine was deemed to be too dangerous by the Vatican and was either hidden away or destroyed. Lending some credence to this story is a decree from the Vatican in 1988 that threatened excommunication for any person using a device that matched the description of the chronovisor. Is the chronovisor real? 
And if so, does it still exist, hidden somewhere in the Vatican archives? And what happened to Ernetti's footage and images of historical events which would prove the veracity of this scientific marvel? If the device could only be used to see through time and not interact with it, what were Vatican officials so afraid people would see that they hid away the device? Number 1. A Time Traveler's LAPD Interview In 1984, a bizarre series of attacks began to take place, with several women with the same name being targeted and attacked. Police got wise to the pattern and were able to find one of the women before she was killed. They were also able to take a man into custody who was telling a bizarre story that he claimed explained everything. The man was believed to be homeless and insane, but he was interviewed by a criminal psychologist who took down his statement. The entire interview was of course filmed by the police, but very little of it, if any, was believed. The man claimed that he had travelled back in time from the year 2027, where he had been a soldier in a war against a rogue SAC NORAD program that had become self-aware and attacked humanity in a nuclear attack. He claimed that they had won the war, but that the computers had sent a robot back in time to try and change the outcome, but that he had followed to prevent this. These claims were of course written off as a paranoid delusion, but soon after the precinct was attacked by a large man who seemed intent on ending the lives of everyone in the building. Security footage of the attack shows the attacker shrugging off bullets and effortlessly wiping out the precinct. The supposed time traveler and the woman managed to escape. The woman was eventually institutionalized after having a mental breakdown, presumably caused by the incident. But neither the supposed time traveler or the attacker were ever seen again. Were they really from a dystopian future? Where did the attacker go? And most importantly, will he be back? We may never know for sure. Time travel is a difficult thing to prove or disprove, but hopefully this video has helped you make up your own mind a little bit. The dark forces that trapped me here have told me to warn you that the only way to avoid the darkest timeline is to like and comment on this video and to subscribe to our channel to avoid catastrophe. Perhaps at some point in the space-time continuum we will meet again and I can regale you with more tales of the macabre and the disturbing here on Top 5 Scary Videos.